What's really in Antarctica's mysterious blood falls? The long-standing mystery surrounding Antarctica's blood falls has finally been solved. The deep red falls were first discovered in Antarctica in 1911, where scientists noticed a river had stained the surrounding cliff of ice with a dark red color. Previously, they had believed it was due to algae discoloring the water, however that hypothesis was never verified. We know the true origin of the blood falls flowing from the Taylor Glacier. The deep red coloring is due to oxidized iron in brine salt water, the same process that gives iron a dark red color when it rusts. When the iron-bearing salt water comes into contact with oxygen, the iron oxidizes and takes on a red coloring, in effect dyeing the water to a deep red color. The research team calculates that the brine water takes approximately 1.5 million years to finally reach the blood falls, as it makes its way through fissures and channels in the glacier. The water is sourced from a brine lake beneath the Taylor Glacier, which over time has picked up iron from the underlying bedrock. The iron-rich brine, which is under high pressures due to the overlying glacier, is injected through fissures in the glacier as it attempts to make its way toward lower pressures. The blood falls also contains an array of microbes that can survive in extreme conditions. These microbial communities live off sulfates in the water and create energy via sulfate reduction. This is a similar reduction process in which humans convert food to energy but instead of using oxygen these microbes use the less favorable sulfate.